Artifact Friday. Today is American Football Day, and to stay on theme, we're going to take a look at some old Kirkland Lake football photos from the museum's collection. For those of you who don't know, the museum has a vast collection of photos relating to Kirkland Lake history in our archives, on top of physical artifacts like these. This uh, football and helmet are from the year 1975 when KLCBI won a championship, and the jersey dates to around the mid-1950s. The history of American football begins with the earliest versions of rugby in Britain in the mid-19th century. American football was the result of several uh, alterations made to the rules of rugby, such as the introduction of the line of scrimmage and the down and distance rules. These changes implemented in America boosted football's popularity, especially at the collegiate level. In 1879, the University of Michigan became the first school to establish a football team, with several other colleges soon to follow suit. Over the years, football faced major controversy over its violent nature. This led to another round of rule changes in the early 20th century to make the game safer for players. These changes had large impacts on the way that the game was played, such as changing the rules so that passing was legal anywhere on the field, whereas it was previously limited to just certain areas. By the late 20th century, the popularity of the NFL shifted some of the focus off of college football, but the sport had exploded and was being played internationally. The Kirkland Lake Mines had football teams, as well as the local high school, KLCBI. Due to an unfortunate incident during a football game in 1975, uh, football in the Kirkland Lake area has since ceased, but its memory lives on through artifacts like these in the museum's collection. Thank you for joining us on this Fun Artifact Friday. Be sure to join us next week for another fun artifact. Thank you.